Hi everybody, it's Bob Milan from the Mothership Channel. Uh, it's been some time since we've made a post, but uh, we've got more experience with our 1999 Rialto QD, and we wanted to share it with you. It's January 19th, 2023, and we've been getting ready for our uh, what's becoming an annual Florida trek to go mountain biking. So. Uh, Figured we'd give you a little tour of the upgrades. Uh, Mylon, if you want to just give us a tour of the nice new floor we put in. Uh, previously, I had stripped out all the old flooring from the previous owner, put in ribs, and then foam, and I put interlocking floor, click floor, over it. Well, looked nice for a little while, but it failed miserably. So this time we took everything out, scraped all the glue, mostly myelin did the work, uh, wire brushed any surface rust, treated it with POV to, to inhibit any further rust. Uh, and then we painted it all with rust oleum and we put down a nice solid subfloor, quarter inch subfloor, and we used glue down vinyl this time. I know it's a little bit heavier, but realize we have saved space by removing the two chairs here. So we're hoping that it's a wash. Uh, the truth will be told when we get it weighed. Uh, so the floor came out really nice. We're quite proud of it. Used rubber mosing here. Uh, and you're able to cut it really close. So fortunately, I. Uh, my good friend Dave has taught me how to do flooring, uh, so I uh, have some experience. We want to move up forward. I put in a new 12 volt fridge here, which is a nice little fridge, but it's very, very uh, efficient. Uh, and I cut out some plywood, and this is all very temporary because I think we'll rebuild this whole island, but. We had leftover flooring, so we put it in here and we put it up top, put nosing around, and it looks kind of neat. Uh, we plan on putting in a, uh, a pulled out trash bin, but uh, we haven't done it. We've done little things like paint the doors, which gives it a really nice accent. Uh, we still have other painting to do, but, and we painted the heater grate treated it for any surface rust that it might have. In our previous videos, we didn't, I'm not sure if we showed that we have a cooler here and that gets strapped in. If you'll notice, I, I rebuilt these boxes with a PVC that comes cut to the perfect size. So you don't have to put it on a circular saw. It's a three quarters inch thick by five and a half, I believe. Why did it, it fit perfectly? And this cooler fits in here perfectly. It's a nice cooler that I bought from BJ's. No, it's not a Yeti, but it's nice. Uh, the other great upgrade that we did is we put in this Iceco refrigerator freezer, which you can use as a refrigerator or a freezer or both. We have it set up just as a freezer and we like to carry a lot of pre-marinated meats and whatnot to have on the road so we don't have to go shopping all the time. Both the freezer and the refrigerator are both very efficient. And speaking of power for these things, what we've done is we have two 100 amp volt lithium batteries here. Um, everything's all wired in. And over here on the wall, we have a Renogy solar controller and DC to DC converter. The one thing that's really nice about this is that it house batteries off of the alternator while you're driving. It will charge from solar. And the other thing that's really cool, once the house batteries are near full charge, it also is a battery minder for the, uh, for the starting battery. So I uh, don't really need to worry about that. We use two portable solar panels, fold into cases. We are 
parked and we have the seats turned around. This cooler serves as a lovely table. The panels fold up small enough to go right behind this seat here uh, if we're not using them. And when we travel, we just put them flat right on the bed. Uh, normally, with all this space in here, we spend most of our time sitting up here. We laid the bed folded down and made most of the time. So we don't really use the dinette much, but in those instances when you have a rainy day and you're traveling with uh, other people in their RVs, we can seat six people in here on a rainy day, socialize and hang out, stay warm and, and dry. Um, Smiley, can you think of other improvements that we've done here? Oh yeah. This is one thing that we haven't shown in previous videos. This is an Ikea cabinet, which is, uh, I can't remember the model name, unfortunately, because I know people are going to ask, but it fits in here perfectly. I have devised a system in the back where it's really securely anchored into the, the floor and the wall. It's not going anywhere. Um, even in a crash. So we're really happy with that. And these boxes that we made, that's been a really nice upgrade for us as well. Smiling that installed these seat covers, which nothing fits these seats just right, but uh, these are a great improvement. And like so many of the Riavas, the cloth seats are disintegrating in the back. So this is gonna keep them from further disintegrating and they'll be a little bit nicer as we go. Up top here, of course, we have no TV, but we have some wicker baskets that fit perfectly in here to hold whatever items you care to put in there. Uh, I put all my vitamins and things like that. So up top, you can see we painted some trim accents, which we really yellowed and whatnot. And the, the Riaba is just taking on a much nicer look. Some of you have had problems with the cup holder the plastic breaking so we took off the plastic piece in the front and with these are store-bought cup holders and we mounted them both on here and they're pretty smart and they look like they belong here so those are all set uh, other things that we did is cables that to these controls have broken and we jury-rigged a method to to fix those to make sure we have heat and frost coming through perfectly. Um, everything seems to run beautifully. Had the brakes, new uh, discs and rotors put on the front. And had our, our fluids uh, all checked and changed. Uh, we got good air pressure in the tires and our air springs. And all that's left is to leave on Saturday morning and enjoy this road trip. We'll keep you updated. Post any questions below. Again, thanks a lot for visiting the Mothership channel, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks. So, this is Bob and Milan wishing you a happy winter, and we'll see you in Florida if you're there.